Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube and to a new evening edit inspiration video. So it's that time of year, it's the beginning of November. Um, I personally am feeling like there's quite a lot going on at the minute. I've got quite a few events in the build up to kind of Black Friday and the festive season. It's that time where things get busy, there's lots on, we're going out, we're making plans. Um, so I think it's good to do one of these kind of videos early on in the season so you can get your inspiration in there early. I actually felt like when I was filming this, I could just go on and on and on with outfit ideas. Um, so I will definitely do another evening edit, um, maybe something slightly different, but I really just wanted to do a kind of inspiration video today because I've done quite a lot of educational style, do's and don'ts, that kind of thing, but I really just wanted to collate all my favorite kind of looks and just put them all together in one video. So that is what I've done for you here. I'm gonna talk through each look as normal, why I think it works, why I've put it together, um, how you can recreate it in your own wardrobe. Um, and again, like I said, this is all about inspiration. It's not necessarily go out and buy each and every one of these outfits that I've shown you, but hopefully this will give you a few ideas um, and also I've kind of tailored it to quite a wide range of occasions. I'm slightly dressier, so I'm slightly more casual. So hopefully there'll be at least one thing for everyone in this video. So let's get on with the first outfit. Okay, outfit number one is an all black look. Um, obviously a really easy go-to for the evening. Um, I'm wearing these straight leg trousers with this gorgeous bow blouse. Just a really nice combination to throw on that's very easy lovely blouse and some straight leg trousers, which most of us probably own. And then I think the real um, kind of details and added extra to this outfit comes in with the accessories. So let's start with the boots. These are from Paris, Texas via Farfetch. This section of the video is sponsored by Farfetch. As you know, I am an avid Farfetch shopper, um, but I've never had anything from Paris, Texas. So I was so excited to try these boots and they really live up to their expectation. I think these are the lower heel height. I'll link the exact ones below. They're really comfortable um, and also I think so versatile. I'm wearing them throughout the video so you'll be able to see a few different ways. But also, like I said, I could have gone on and on with these boots with lots of different outfits, dressing them up more casual. And I love that this heel height allows you to do that. It kind of gives you something that you could really dress up with the croc and the like shiny croc makes them feel dressy and the pointed toe, but the heel height means that you can also kind of dress them down and make them the focal point of a casual outfit. So I love the versatility of these boots and I do think if you're looking and don't own a good pair of black um, knee evening boots. These ones will be the perfect ones to last you forever. They feel great quality and they're just like I say, ones you can wear over and over again. So I do have a Farfetch code for you. So the code is all capitals LJT save. I'll pop it on screen so you can see it. And again, it will be in the description box below. So this will give both new and existing customers 35 pounds off any order over 450 pounds. And the code is also valid for full price and sale items, which I think is a real winner. And you can also stack the code with other codes. So they'll have one coming up for singles day and Black Friday. So you can stack those codes on top of each other. You don't have to just use a single code. So you get more money off. So it's a real winner. It's a no brainer if you want to shop on Farfetch. The next piece I got from there is this amazing Cult Gaia bag. Cult Gaia are the best for really cool, unusual accessories. Um, they're not mega, mega expensive as well, which is what I love about Farfetch. They've got such a range of brands and price points in there. Um, so there's something for everybody. And also just to mention, my absolute favorite feature about them is that you can get lots of points. So everything you buy on there basically goes towards unlocking exclusive things like discounts, free shipping, lots of different things like birthday rewards. Um, so personally for me, I kind of do as much shopping as I can on Farfetch on that one single platform so that I can build these points and get extra access to things that I wouldn't get anywhere else. Anyway, back to the bag. Um, so it's just this amazing sparkly black bag with the gold um, handle, which you can take on and off. So you can use it just as a clutch. 
um, or you can put it over your shoulder and it's also really like it fits really nicely under your shoulder. Um, I personally love taking a crossbody bag out in the evening, but this for me will be my new go-to because it just slots on. When you're actually wearing it, you don't even feel like you've got it on, if that makes sense, because it just kind of slots in a really nice place under your arm. I know that's such a bizarre thing to say, but um, I think some bags can feel a little bit cumbersome under your arm, but this just slots so nicely. And again, like I say, very flexible in that you can take the handle off. And I think just a really nice one to jazz up your evening outfits. If you're a bit more like me and like to go head to toe black or a bit more minimal, adding these accessories in just really gives a kind of oomph to your outfit. Also from Farfetch is my jumper in the next outfit. So this is from Isabelle Morant Etoile and I have had my eye on this jumper for a long time. I love everything about these Isabel Morant jumpers. The shoulder detail is just perfection. And I think this is a really nice one to invest in at this time of year in particular, because it's one of those pieces that you can easily dress down. This would look so great with some wide leg denim, really, really dressed down, but still gives it kind of something extra or you can do what I've done here and dress it up in the evening. So I've kept the same outfit on as before with the black trousers and the Paris Texas boots, but it's just made a little bit more casual by the jumper, but it still gives it something extra for the evening. I love the kind of little frill collar and I think it's a knit, but it's something really unique and different and something you can wear over and over again. And I think that how unusual it is, it really stands out while still being very, very wearable in your wardrobe. You could wear it tonally, you could wear it with other beige colors, grays, blacks, pop of color, um, so very, very versatile, and I can't wait to kind of style this up and down. So don't forget LJT save, new and existing customers, and it's 35 pounds off a 450 pound order. I'll pop it on screen again to remind you, um, but like I say, really good one to use because you can stack it with those other deals coming up on Farfetch very soon. Okay, so speaking of versatility is outfit number three. This is my favorite one of the whole video. I am obsessed with this head to toe tonal look for evening. I just think it's such a great one if you want to look a little bit different. You don't want to wear black, but you don't want to look too over the top. That's something I personally try and avoid is to look too done and fixed and over the top glamorous. Um, I think it's really nice to combine more glam pieces with slightly more casual pieces. So here I'm wearing the Isabelle Morant Etoile jumper and then I've gone for this Marcella London skirt with it. And like I said, I just love those tonal shades. So if you are thinking about how you can create some different looks for the new season that don't always involve black, then think about going for more tonal shades, but in dressed up pieces like the heeled boots just make a difference to this outfit, elevate it. And then these amazing earrings from Zara. I love a bit of Zara costume jewelry for this time of year. Just again, adds a little bit of wow factor to your outfit, packs a punch, but also kind of dresses up all your basic pieces so you can really utilize these in lots of different ways. Oh, and I'm wearing them now, totally forgot about that. I also think these are not very heavy. I thought they'd be really, really heavy in my ears, but they're not. And also go with lots of different shades. I think they'll look really nice with gray as well. But this beige also kind of picks up on this color um, of the earring, so I really, I really would rate these. And then finish off with my Chloe bag. Again, very tonal and my jewelry from my collection with North School Women. So definitely a good one to opt for tonal lighter shades, but dress them up, add a great pair of earrings, add a heel boot and you're good to go. So let's move on to my pajama set. If you're looking for something a little bit different, statement, comfortable and relaxed, a pajama suit is one for you. I have actually been an advocate of the pajama going out look for a really long time. Um, I remember years ago, maybe like 10 years ago, I used to have a few like pajama style shirts that I'd wear for nights out and then dress them up with like leather skirts, things like that. So I love that kind of relaxed look in the evening, but then dress right up. So I've gone for these strappy heels with this sleeper set. You'll see a lot of feathers around this season, but for me, I've been wearing feathers for several years now. I think they're, they're not really a trend. They're just more like a glamorous piece. These things always come back. Metallics every year, velvet every year, feathers, sequins, they never go away each year. And 
That's what I love about um, all these festive, wintry, glamorous pieces is that you can actually bring them out every year. I've got pieces in my wardrobe from years ago that I know I'll be wearing this season. Velvet blazer, for example, I'll be wearing. So I think although they are more statement pieces like this um, sleeper set is more of a statement piece, you will definitely be able to get your wear out of it every single year. And the beauty of this is that it's a set so you can wear it together and really dress it up or you can wear them separately. So you could put um, these trousers maybe with a t-shirt and a blazer and do it that way. Um, but I've gone all out with the full set um, and I've got these Jennifer Burt earrings in. I think the key with this uh, pajama set is to dress it up. You need to add in those kind of pieces of glamour to um, just really lift it. And then finish with this other Cult Gaia bag, another one from Farfetch actually gorgeous bag. I'm not sure if they um, still have with this one at the moment, but this is just an example of what I said about Cult Gaia having the most amazing accessories that really transform and elevate your outfits. So my next look is this kind of velvety jacket from Zara. I saw this in store the other day and then I decided to order it online and I just thought it was a really nice piece to elevate basic pieces. And also thinking about evening dressing and going out, we don't always want um, real, real glam, but we want something that feels dressy and still comfortable. Maybe you're going around to a friend's house um, and you're just sitting there and you kind of want a bit of a jacket or cardigan, but don't want something too relaxed. Then this is a really nice one to go for. And I love it with the t-shirt, how I've worn it here, but I also think it would look so good with a big white ruffle blouse underneath to really dress it up and elevate it. And I do think there's lots of different ways you can wear it. So I've gone for gray slim leg trousers here and my Arquette sling back mules. But you could also, I think, go for slouchy wide leg jeans, for example, and some boots or slim leg jeans, kind of any kind of shade, I think. A white would go with this, gray would look really good, black um, or even just normal denim. So there are ways you can dress this up and down. I've kind of gone for an in-between look, again, with some really statement earrings from Zara. These will be linked below. And then just finished off with a gray bag, but I think lots of different ways you can wear it, even though it's quite a standout piece. So for a bit of an in-between look, something maybe slightly more casual that isn't really, really dressy, maybe you're going out in the daytime, a daytime occasion, daytime event, you want to look dressy, but you don't want to look too night out. So I've gone for this Massimo Dutti cardigan, um, which you may have seen me wearing quite a lot lately, actually. It's been a really useful piece and also so, so warm. So I'd really recommend it. Looks great with everything from jeans, worn more casually, wide leg trousers, slim leg trousers, or like I've done here, a satin midi skirt. You could go for something a lighter shade or like I've done here with the black, gone for the Paris Texas boots. Again, another way to wear the Paris Texas boots is with a longer or shorter skirt. Um, looks great with both. And I just think this is a really nice one for those kind of in-between occasions. You still feel nice and warm as well because you've got the cardigan and the boots, but still looks a little bit glam without being too over the top. So my final look, again, showing you how you can wear these Paris Texas boots another way is by wearing this shorter skirt, tights, and then the blazer that I've gone for here, um, and then some statement earrings. A really, really simple look. These earrings are actually really old from Zara, but just a simple look. But again, the boots do the talking, the accessories do the talking, the Cult Gaia bag does the talking. So it's really worth considering um, these high quality investment pieces because they really transform the way your outfit looks. And like I said, you can bring these out year upon year. I think the boots in particular are so, so useful, but this is definitely a really nice one if you're going out. But like me, you don't wanna kind of go all over the top, sequin dressy party dress. It's still something that feels really sophisticated and easy to recreate as well. So I hope you enjoyed all my outfits, got some inspiration, maybe as well thought of some pieces that you're perhaps lacking in your wardrobe to create some different looks. Um, like the boots, I think are such a useful piece for the new season. Don't forget my discount code for Farfetch. All the details will be in the description box below. If you like my video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Also, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know um, if you've got any other requests for kind of evening outfits, anything in particular you'd like to see because I'll definitely be doing those as we go through November and December. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.